changing lanes to follow route, which makes absolutely no sense. I've noticed that the car kind of gets stuck in the passing lane and I hope that doesn't happen. And he's angrily passing us on the right. He has a Murica <laughs> thing on his window. That's kind of funny. And one more awkward situation of sitting in the left lane. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Tesla Challenge. This is gonna be episode 14. And I recently realized that the past few challenges have had some kind of gimmick, whether it's snow or rain or construction. And while that's fun, and it's interesting to see how Autopilot handles those situations, it's not really what Tesla advertises. They do tell you in those situations to take over and to not really use Autopilot. Now, of course you can, and most of the time Autopilot does very well in those situations, but Tesla kind of indirectly says, in clear weather, the car with Navigate on Autopilot can go from on-ramp to off-ramp all on its own. Now, during that time, you do have to keep a hand on the wheel. I always have my hand down here and you do have to pay attention, but theoretically, the car can do it all. You shouldn't have to do anything. So we've had a lot of updates. The car has a lot of new abilities. It does things slightly differently than it used to. So I figure uh, it'd be good to just kind of go back to the basics and do a Tesla challenge, get on the on-ramp here, about 25 miles on the highway to work, and we can see if Autopilot will handle this all on its own. If you're not familiar with Autopilot, I'll link a video in the top. Um, watch that, I explain Autopilot in the beginning of that video. The rules of the challenge are, I'm going to get on the highway, set my speed, set my following distance, and then I'm not gonna do anything from there on out. The car is gonna have to handle it all. And then at the end, I will give the car a grade, a, B, C, D, and there will be a poll in the top left of this video, uh, the little eye icon. You can click on that, and after you've watched the entire video, you can also rate autopilot and let me know how you think it did. I'm usually pretty strict and pretty hard on it, and the last few times I've not given it great grades, but then at the same time, you know, the autopilot was dealing with things like snow or construction. So I've had some successes in the past, some failures where the car can't handle it, even in normal conditions. Um, but today we have one interchange and just a normal amount of traffic. So I, th I think the car has a pretty good chance here. I'm pretty excited to see what it does with its uh, new abilities, the new adjacent lane speed matching, the better uh, lane changes. Now I think when the car does them on their own, uh, in my experience, the lane changes aren't really all that different. Um, it's more when I hit the turn signal, the lane changes are much better, but we'll see. Um, I'm on Mad Max setting and I'm gonna leave it there, I think. I'm actually gonna change this to average. I think the car has a much better chance of success on average. So we'll keep it there. That's normally what I use. Okay, so we got a green light here. Uh, I always try to autopilot through this left light and more often than not on the later updates, it's been working. You can see here, this is working pretty well and yeah, no problem. So we are getting on the highway. Uh, I don't have to do anything now. The car can, well, I do have to set my speed. So let's set it up to 75, usually 78. Um, even sometimes on this road going 78, uh, the speed limit 70 uh, is not fast enough and people are still kind of tailgating me and stuff, but 78 is good. And from here on out, I will not be interacting with the car and we're gonna let the car handle everything, including merging onto the highway here. So turn signal on for just a second and we're off. You can see going this speed, this guy is still, <laughs> um, you know, pulling away from me. So yeah, people go pretty quick. and changing into faster lane, I'm kind of surprised by that, but we'll let the car do it. Uh, now, I kind of hate getting stuck in the left lane here, and in this update, we're on 2019.40.2.1, so we're on the latest update. Um, I've noticed that the car kind of gets stuck in the passing lane, and I hope that doesn't happen. I already have somebody kind of tailgating me here, um, and I don't really blame them. So let's just see how the car handles this. So I've changed my following distance to one. Uh, that is what I use on a normal day. Normally for the challenges I do two, but one is still a pretty far distance. Now we are going faster than the white car here. So Autopilot did make an okay decision with that. But with the big gap, it was just a little awkward. This guy's getting pretty close to me, but since we're passing somebody, I don't feel too bad. And he's angrily passing us on the right. I gotta say, I kind of don't blame him, but at the same time, he really doesn't have anywhere to go, and he has a Murica 
<laughs> thing on his window. That's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, I mean, autopilot is not very good at kind of moving and then moving back over. It just kind of is like, oh, these people are going slow. I'm just going to casually pass them in this lane. All right, so we passed the semi. This is the perfect time for the car to exit passing lane, but it's just, man, even on average, this is not Mad Max. I have somebody behind me. I have people in front of me. The car really should be getting out of the passing lane. It's just not doing it anymore. Okay, changing lanes to follow route, which makes absolutely no sense because you don't need to do that. So that's some incorrect map data there. And then we'll, we will have some cars merging on here. Uh, and hopefully the car handles that all right. Hmm, we seem to actually move, like for sure. I could see on the screen and I felt the car. We actually moved away from that car on the side of the road. Now, I'm gonna assume that's just a coincidence, but you never know, Tesla's always adding these little things that they don't tell you in the release notes. Okay, so we're getting in the faster lane, which is a good move, and, you know, three or four clicks of the blinker, which is fine, and the actual moving over of the lane change does feel improved, like moving from lane one to lane two, you do that action faster and more aggressively, which I really like. Okay, so the semi's kind of in our lane a little bit, and uh, he moved back, but I don't know, it didn't look like the car really cared at all. So we're kind of to the right in the lane a little bit. We're like up against that right lane line. I don't know why. There's nobody to our left. Uh, if I scroll back, there is a car like way back there, um, but they shouldn't be interacting with us. I don't know. That was, I could just feel the car kind of drifting over. It was very strange. All right, so we are gonna move into the faster lane. I'm surprised it took that long for the car to make that decision. Normally it would do that a lot quicker. Uh, but this semi got in our way. Now up ahead, the road splits uh, to the right and left and we need to go to the left. So if we were to stay in this current lane, we would go the wrong direction. Uh, but I'm sure autopilot will get us back where we need to go with plenty of time. All right, ready to move over here. This lane has become the slow one. Let's go. But I think maybe because this bus is in the way, the car is not doing it, but I, I want to move over because it's uh, getting time to change, to do our interchange and go to the other highway. Okay, so now that a car is next to us, turn, turn signal on, that's okay, that's not a big deal. Uh, and we got over, so now we're in a good spot to go where we need to go. So pretty aggressively moving to the left in this lane to move away from that truck. And then the car always does this, uh, changing lanes to follow route, which here is good because the bus is in the way. So that was really good, like kind of sped up to move over and get in front of this Jeep back here. Um, but again, it's like the maps for my route are all messed up because there's no need to move over for the route. This all goes the same way. So the car is being pretty conservative with its speed on that bend there and no problem with that it's just again the other drivers around me they're so aggressive people in michigan drive really aggressively and uh you know they, they this person it's a lot they're a lot closer than they look in this camera um they just came right up on me the second i started slowing down even though i'm in like a low kind of sporty car and they're in a jeep <laughs> you know they want to go flying around that bend it's just the way people around here drive and one more awkward situation of sitting in the left lane now we are passing this guy, I suppose. We do have a 
changing lanes to follow route coming up, so I'm glad that that'll force us out of the left lane, but it's like, it's kind of time now, and we got this guy coming up on our side though, unfortunately. It's just uh, going to be weird. Okay, so now turn signals on. And this Jeep is, is like, chilling kind of in our blind spot. Like, if I had been driving, I would have done that exact same thing. Because that was really cool. That was really impressive. Uh, it, it seemed like they were going to continue on and get next to us. So the car kind of hesitated there. And it was weird because they technically weren't next to us. Um, but it seemed like they were going to be. So it was cool that the car waited for that. Uh, and then we have another person passing. But the car is getting over. Uh, and actually it did that into faster lane. It didn't do that for our route. So that's really weird. But at this point we have our exit coming up. Um, it looks like the car's going to take the exit. And this is not going to be any problem at all. And, you know, this is just really impressive. If you look back at some of the earlier Tesla challenges, uh, the car, you know, could complete these before too, but this one was just like so flawless. My only complaint is hanging out in the left lane, and that's a really simple um, software update fix because it didn't used to behave like that. It used to really aggressively leave the left lane, you know, to give people um, space and to get out of the left lane and not kind of clog up that lane. Um, so I think that's just like one quick fix away and there it is the car exits the freeway on its own I did nothing, you know uh, my entire way to work. I, I didn't have to do one thing. So that's just really exciting um, this this software has gotten really impressive and It's only gonna get better from here. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one my grade uh, I have to grade it. Uh, I'm gonna give it an, an a B a B. I, I want to give it an A but the whole passing lane thing was really annoying. But I'm still like really impressed. I mean, we're getting kind of used to autopilot, right? But it just like drove 25 miles with not a single issue um, besides maybe driving etiquette, which is personal preference anyway. So I'm sure some of you watching are like, who cares, you can sit in the left lane. I have gotten that comment, don't kill me for that. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I look forward to talking to you about this down in the comments and you will see me in the next video.